How did this happen? How did music start in Omaha? Well, <laughs> I'm confident in the belief that music exists in all places. There was a time to fearless minds where we packed up for a new place. A college town with a musical sound and everyone had a new face. I think Omaha started getting a little more national attention, probably because of Bright Eyes. I guess at the same time when, when he sort of started touring a lot more, so did Cursive and so did The Faint. And I think that just kind of opened people's eyes that bands from Omaha were doing something. I think there was a media hole to fill, um, and those uh, occurrences of region-specific music happenings generated a lot of income for a lot of people. The media and, and press, they kind of jumped on Omaha because it was sort of unusual that bands from Omaha were doing something. It's, it's kind of an interesting story just in that little line. Why would there possibly be bands from Omaha that are getting out and touring and I'm starting to hear about them. Why? Now when you're trying to book shows and you're trying to find a booking agent or a publicist, you say, I'm from Omaha. Well, they don't have to ask you where that is on the map. So from paranoia, paranoia. I think bands from Omaha had a, have and had a, a good work ethic, like, you know, to go out and tour a lot, whether it was booking their own tours or, you know, just going and repeating it and doing it again and again. I think part of the success is these Omaha bands were driven and they were driven to share their music with people and express themselves artistically. They just did it. They, they did it right here and they didn't have any pretenses of, of, of it ever being lucrative. You filming? Yeah. Well, we're standing in front of what's left of the Cog Factory, probably one of the more important clubs that's ever existed in Omaha. Most people we know were probably at that right age, but they would go there and, you know, local bands played all the time. It was a total dive, but... Yeah, pretty charming. <laughs> I don't think anybody cared, but it's just, uh, it was a place. There was a room uh -huh. with a stage. <clears throat> it was hotter than hell in the summer. It was freezing cold in the winter. You didn't know what the power was going to do. You didn't know if you could take a leak because the toilet might be broken. The bathroom rarely worked. Yeah. I've relieved my bladder in that corner. I don't know, 40, 50 times. Who knows? Didn't count. That'd be creepy. But uh, fans would pull their vans in here, and we'd load our shit. And, uh, there was a little area back here where you could buy water. And it was like the shittiest place ever, but it was so glorious. Just This is one of the coolest clubs I've ever known in my life. A lot of bands played here. A lot of bands uh, learned how to play live music here, and uh, I miss it. There's a bit of uh, freedom that Omaha allows you to have, whether it's because there's not a lot to do. So you can focus on art or music or something like that. Because the cost of living is so cheap, we can actually afford to actually be a band here. We don't have to have day jobs and we can work you know, all day, every day on the band and doing various things. A lot of Omaha bands, they've got an adequate place, places to practice. They have low, low living expenses. Um, it's just, those are, you know, they're less stresses that would burden someone. Well, I swear she watched him like a big gust of wind Oh, cutting through a close such an easy attempt to convince us There's no reason we should be outside 
most people are pretty supportive of new bands too. Like we want to see what our friends are doing or what you know an acquaintance is doing. Omaha is a small town and kind of everybody sort of knows right. everybody or knows of them. So you know it's easy for people newer bands to like buddy up and say, hey, I got this new band. And they you know right. yeah, they would get on a bill with you guys or something. Yeah, yeah. If you're a brand new band, mm -hmm. like Derek's band, like yeah. people will come out. It's just even a house show, you know. I think just the fact that the bands have remained so loyal to themselves and, and you know stuck together like you know and it's hard to say why that is you know it's like well did the community teach us loyalty or we just you know we all remain friends and I have no idea why but I think that has added to you know yeah just the band staying together and actually being around long enough to get attention they've all unified and they made this this decision at that point, you know, that they're going to stay here, they're going to stick it out. Because a lot of them, they toured, they came back and they learned, I don't have to live in city A, B, C, D to make myself. We are making a decent living, we are getting international attention, and we have not left our hometowns. Oh,